Hi everybody and uh, welcome. Uh, today I'm going to explain to you what Connect Plus really is and our customers that we actually talk to throughout this entire process. So the presentation that we have for you today, so I'm going to explain our team to you, how, why we started making this project, the product itself and also the results of our customer evaluation, uh, including a survey and actual um, voice voiceovers from actual customers we met on the streets. So let's get started. Uh, if you want to learn more about Connect Plus, you can go to our website here. And if you actually want to do our survey, you can go on this website and we can get more customer feedback from you. So let's introduce myself. I am uh, Nicholas Ivanecki, currently at Big Master University, and I am uh, studying Mechatronics Engineering. And I feel like I have a lot of experience working with software and just in general, like understanding the management side of things as well as software and how to put things together. Uh, my other partners include Tom Dippo and basically he's very good with software. He has built a couple of apps in the past so he's going to be helping me through this stage and developing this app as well as Steve Robinson. He's uh, for finance so he's, he knows a lot about analyzing markets and what, what markets are really good at what times and that this app is going to be very useful once we hit the market with it hopefully. So that is our team. Um, so why we started using or making this type of product. Uh, because uh, the reason we chose it is we want to make uh, the phones more personal to you and more communication and more personal in general. Like for example when you either go on Facebook or LinkedIn, uh, you type in something and you share with everybody, that's great but it's very structured and very closed out. You have to type inside a certain box and that's the only thing that happens and you get to receive that information. What we're trying to do with this app is try and make it more personal so that you actually have people surrounding you while you share and use this app. So it's creating that nice human connectivity, that human connection that's missing. So we're trying to develop that and bring that back again. We don't, we don't want to go back and just keep on, I guess, like in our current day right now, we use Facebook for those tasks, but we want to change that and make the phones more, uh, I guess, personal for everyone and so we can share information. Which brings me to my second point on what the product is itself. So Connect Plus, what it is, is basically an app to share pictures, small videos, links possibly, and or data with multiple phones. So you can have more than, more than two phones uh, connecting together. And how it works is that when you open up the app, uh, if you want to, you check your hard drive to make sure you have any files or something you want to send to someone, you click on that file while the app is open and you get to uh, say basically uh, if you want to send it to someone uh, you click send to someone now how it works is with others around you uh, they need to also open the app to make sure they receive something so once they open that app they need to type in a special pass code that only the main user who was initially sending the data or the video has that passcode so you would ask him for that passcode you would type in the passcode then and then uh, a small amount of time after you would receive that information but this isn't between two people like I said it's for multiple users so in my opinion it's something very very beneficial and something we need so good examples would be let's say sharing photos with a group of a couple friends so you have five friends with you if you want to share either an album or a picture you type in your app or you type on your phone open up the app click share and then everyone around you who typed in your passcode only gets to receive that information so it is secured that way and everybody gets your information. It could also be used in, uh, let's say for example, school purposes. Either you're in a group work and doing group work and you want to share information, it's very easy to just uh, pick, up, pick up your phone, you have your assignment in the hard drive ready and you can send it immediately. So, and to other people in your group right away. So it's very, it's very fast, but like I said, it's creating that personal feeling that we are sort of missing with communication and sharing with the mobile phones. So I'm trying to bring that back. Even, even another good example would be, let's say you're a teacher, and I know a lot of kids for sure, our age, like 18, 18 to 24, and even high school kids, they, love, they have phones. And what, what it would do is if the teacher has a phone and she has, let's say, a quiz to do, either an online quiz that she made or something, um, she could just press send, everyone has a passcode, they type it in, and right away everyone's basically getting ready to uh, answer the quiz, and you know, she'll get her results. So it's very fluid but also personal at the same time. So, on to our customer evaluation process. So we have two that we did. We did a main survey 
So if you go on this website right now, you can see that survey right now. Or we also did actual customer feedback. Uh, we went through our campus at McMaster University and basically uh, talked with some people to gain some feedback. So I'm first going to go through our survey results with you. Just a couple questions because I don't want to take too much of your time up. So one of the questions we asked was, what was your most useful app? As, it, as you can see from the uh, bar graph, most useful, of course, is utility apps, social networking apps, and productivity. So this recon reconfirms that we, you know, we want to be social, and we also want to be productive at the same time using our mobile device. So we understood that already. Now, our second question is, how do you typically share information on your mobile? And that, basically, the biggest, the biggest one was texting then calling, and then email, and then Facebook. So the only way, I guess, to share, really, is through texting. And that's, I guess, spreading of word, <coughs> spreading of words, and through texting. So that's the only form of communication that people feel are necessary to communicate with other phones. And now I ask them, how do you share information to larger crowds? It's not just between one or two people, but multiple. And people actually just mentioned some, some text individually to people, so there wasn't that much of a response there. But mostly people on their mobile only post on Facebook or send it to an email. Because email you can have multiple contacts and you can send information. But really that's going again back to what I mentioned earlier and not making it very personal. So if you want to make it personal, like I mentioned, we would just have the app. Your friends are here, you need to send it. Or if your friends are not here, you could actually send it other places. So it really is a very interesting app and I feel like we uh, people would generally buy this app because they have a need for this. People are missing that uh, need to do things and this app will help out. Uh, another good question that we asked was would it be easier to send information quickly to all your friends by opening an app, selecting material, pushing send? And about 64% of the, our survey recommended that yes it would be a lot more easier. So that's what our app is sort of getting at, and uh, customers feel that our product will be good. Also, the same thing, one of our functions was the ability to share data, video, in close proximity. And, is, and I asked them if it was a feature they would use, and again, 64% agreed that they would use this feature, which is pretty good. And lastly, uh, would you buy this app if it can share pictures, data, videos with others around you? So we have yes for four, which is 36%, and no for seven, so 64%. So basically, uh, I, I believe the question wasn't worded correctly, and I, I'm assuming that if they, what, they went, what they meant by buy is either free or you pay some money for it. So that actually reaffirms, reconfirms our business model that we made earlier, saying that we should have a free model for this app, and also a pro version for this app. So after they could use, we can make money for both of the segments, and while it's in the market. So that reconfirms our business model. And now on to our customer interviews. So I'll let those play. Um, uh, or how do you currently share information on your phone? So like talking to other users with other mobile devices, how do you do that? Just texting usually. Texting sometimes, usually? Sometimes chatting, but usually just texting. Absolutely. How about you, Josh? Majority of it is texting. Majority of texting. Um, what What do you think uh, could be, I guess, different about texting? Like, instead of just you know texting someone, could can you think of any other ideas or methods that could make that a lot more easier to communicate with others? Or is there even such a way? Or how would you fix that? Or keep better it the same? Vo better voice recognition, but that's it. For like texting or just yeah. communicating. Over just better general. voice recognition. If you could like send like a, a like a like a voice text where you just send a message, but it's like they don't have to answer it immediately, but it's in voice, that'd be a lot better. Exactly. Okay. Cool. Um, have you guys ever heard of the technology called Bump? Bump. No. No. Bump is basically. Uh, let's say, Josh, you have. It's like a data transfer between phones. Excellent. So, what if I told you um, the app that I will be making um, could offer instead of just two phones, it could have multiple phones connecting and sharing information. Would you would you buy that type of product, Josh? I don't know if I'd buy it. Or would you either buy it if it was let's say free as a free app? Would you test it out? I would try it. It it definitely sounds interesting. How about you? It, it warrants further interest. Okay, I'm here with Julian. He's uh, fourth year mechatronics, and basically, 
Uh, Julian, I'm just going to ask you a quick questions on what do you think about mobile uh, apps. So, sure. What's, uh, so Julian, uh, what is uh, your most useful app currently that you have on your phone? Uh, I would say my most useful app would have to be uh, Google Maps when I'm lost. I can Wait. check it and know where I am. Okay, and how about uh, social apps? Any social apps? Uh, no, just, just uh, normal messaging and that's all. That's all. Um, would you, like, how do you usually share your, uh, I guess, uh, information on your phone currently? Probably through text messages and uh, MMSs when I have to send uh, pictures. Messages. Okay. So what if I told you, like, I'm currently uh, making this quick mobile app that can actually send all these things to, let's say, a variety of people all at once within close proximity. Would you, would you be interested in that type of technology? That seems pretty unique and uh, innovative. Yeah. Um, basically, <laughs> the the technology, what what it would do is, um, let's say uh, you had a small group of friends around, let's say four, and each of you had the app open. You connect with each other, and if one person, let's say, would you know, you want to share a picture, all four of you would get the picture at once. That's uh, that's convenient so, because you don't have to keep uh, writing in people's contact addresses when you want to send something. Exactly. What do, what do you think about Bump, the current technology out there that does all the sharing communications just between two phones? What do you think about that? Uh, it seems good, but it seems like it's limited by two people. If you want to share with a group of friends and you're out, you kind of have to do that with each person individually. Exactly. That's what I've been saying. So I feel like somebody needs to make this type of app, and I feel like my product might be uh, helpful. Anyways, thank you, Julian. Thank you. You usually use your... Uh, cell phone and the typical day-to-day -day use? Okay, um, well, I wake up with my uh, phone because I use it as an alarm clock. Um, I check my news on it, I check my weather on it, um, I use it to transfer data such as texting, um, emailing, and Facebooking, um, and of course when I'm bored I play games on it. Um, we all do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, I try not to watch any videos on it. Um, I try not to go on YouTube because of uh, my plan that I'm on. And also, the, so the small screen hurts my eye. Um, my question to you is, why, for example, because the product I'm building, so I'm part of uh, Connect Plus, and the product we are trying to build is make it so that more people can share, uh, I guess, m multiple either pictures or videos or links or data to like any cell phone but within like a cr close proximity so for example you could have like seven phones in like a small room and everyone would get the same either picture or link or image like in doing a certain technique or something and then you know you would get data fast that way and it's a more personal like interaction with with the mobile phone and with all the users around you so would you would you like that type of device or would you like buy this type of mobile app that if it was available? Yeah, I think I would definitely, but I would like to see it expand to not only close proximity, but um, farther away as well. Farther away? Yeah. Okay. Would you, for example, if there was like a cost on it, would you would you buy, let's say, if it was for free, or would you ha pay some money for it and get like a maybe pro version of the app with more features? Would you, what would you choose? Uh, for the time being, if it's free, I would definitely try it out. Um, <clears throat> Since I'm kind of satisfied with what I have right now, I probably wouldn't pay extra money to try something new. Um, but in the future, um, I assume I would be uh, a bit more busier, a bit more important. A lot so. more, yes. <laughs> so I would definitely buy it then. Okay. If you have any more questions or concerns regarding Connect Plus, you can reach us at this website, as mentioned. Or you can actually reach us if you go on to VentureLabs.org and sign up for the Technology Entrepreneurship course, you can reach us in there as well. So thank you for your time and hopefully Connect Plus will uh, be in the App Store soon.